What's up guys, this is Mike, aka Mike the Jupiter, and today's video is going to be a real brief video of me um, just moving my rocket switches that I have on my AC vent down to where my shifter uh, plate is. Uh, like I said, the reason I'm doing that is just pretty much I didn't like to set up these, these toggles, I'm sorry, these rocket switches. Um, one actually broke, you know, it blocked the airflow from my AC or my heater. So that's the reason why I'm going to move, be moving them down to, the, to where the shifter plate's at. Took it off already so you guys can see it. Now I'm not going to be using rocket switches, I'm going to be using these little, pretty much these off and on toggle switches, LEDs, with the LED light on it. I'm just going to put them right here, 3 8 toe, I think, um, and I just put them right here. Um, now I have four of them, uh, one obviously to control my KC daylighters, reverse lights, my auxiliary fan, and then a future to be determined uh, accessory I'm still thinking about doing. Um, now all those switches are going to be controlled by a on and off switch, master switch. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just be a, pretty much a switch. So when I activate that, engage all the switches, I can be able, I'll be able to use the, the other. Uh, uh, well, be, I'll be able to use the switches. Um, now, when this is on, I'm going to be putting in the indicator, LED indicator, green indicator right here. So when I turn that master switch, it turns on that light, knowing that these switches are ready to be activated. Um, so I can know, so the reason I'm doing that is so I can know uh, that the lights are engaged. So if I'm driving down the road, I'm trying to find something, I don't actually hit a light. Uh, one of the switches didn't activate a light uh, or something. I just don't want to do that. So that's why I put this match switch so it can engage these other switches. Really just stuff like this. It's an easy mod. Um, also, I found these in, the, in, in my box here uh, in my garage. Um, these are pretty much LED, LED indicators. They're actually from my RC car. It was another project I was building. But I never got to to round to it, so I'm gonna use these actually for my my uh, for my lights, my just my lights, like the reverse lights in my front KC lights. So what I'm gonna be doing is putting them somewhere in the dash, so when they when they are engaged, the light, this little light comes up, knowing that I've uh, activated this, this the the light itself or the switch. Um, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, easy mod. Um, shouldn't take that long because I already ran the wires. I'm gonna use the existing wires, obviously, for my rocket switches. Just gonna pretty much tie off of those and just run them down to what I need to. Um, so let's go ahead in the cab and check it out and see how see how it looks from there. All right, guys. So I'm here in my cab already. Um, now, as you can see, I already took everything off. But to take off this um, dash part, there's a there's a plastic part up here that you just pry off with a screwdriver or something. And then there's two screws here. Take those screws off. And this whole enclosure comes down and then you get to this point right here really easy stuff now like like i said earlier i'm gonna be using my existing wiring um now if you guys haven't ran your wires uh, there's a video uh of me showing how to run the wires for my kc daylighter video i'll leave a link in the description and you go from there um but obviously as you can see my wires are not going to reach um to where i need to I put them so all i'm gonna do is just extend them and just run behind my dash and then come down behind uh it, or random in, inside my console here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this off which is easy to come on which i already did use your screwdriver get some more better angle here uh, just all you do is just take this off here gives you access uh to your inside your console uh, now to take off your your shifter knob all you have to do is just pull up with force do not twist or anything like that. Pops off, get to this point. When you take this off, all you do is use another screwdriver. It pops off, and now there'll be a bulb hooked to it. All you gotta do is take that bulb off. You just twist, and then pull, and it comes off. Really easy stuff, and this whole thing um, comes off. And then bam, it has the opening to your console. A lot of space in here to run your wires. So that's where I'm at right now. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna run these wires real quick, and then show you from there. All right. All right, guys. So I got the wires where I need to. Um, now uh, the wire, the wires were pretty long enough for me to reroute them and just pretty much put them in here. The only wire I didn't uh, didn't reach was the winch control uh, wire. Uh, pretty much what I did was just splice it on top up here and then just ran an extension down here. That's all I did. It's not nothing big deal. No big deal. Then pretty much uh, zip tie the wires back down here. I don't want to zip tie them down here yet because I need to pretty much uh, make sure I have enough wire 
to hook these wires up into my switches and then when I do that then I can go ahead and just start uh, zip tying the wires and making it look a little bit neater than this um, but that's pretty much it let's go ahead and start uh, drilling this, the holes for the switches um, and see how that goes all right all right guys so I got my plate here ready to be drilled uh, drill it into um, now keep in mind if you're a neat freak and you want this all lined up the right way, I would suggest go ahead and measure it, measure it, and uh, you know, pretty much uh, line it the way you want it. But for my application, I really don't care. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just drill them right here, all back to back, um, and then go from there. All right, guys. As you can see, I got the little light in there, the LED light indicator. Now. When I was drilling this, I was remember I was telling you guys just be careful what you drill. Well, I little I pretty much nipped this little plastic part here, um, and the little support um, broke off. This little support here on that side broke off, which is no big deal because this is actually supporting it. Um, this deals the the LED itself is actually supporting it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna silicone it around here. That should resolve the issue. It's no big deal. Like I said again, just be careful what you drill through. Um, the next holes are probably go right here, just lined up. Um, so again, that's how it looks like right now. Um, just make sure it's cleaned up. Now, again, nothing you could do is pretty much tape it around. So when you do and you slide, it won't scratch this plate. Um, so I think I'm gonna be doing that for my next holes um, and go from there. So again, the next one, which would be the master switch, will probably go right here, and then uh, the other switches are just gonna line up down here. So let's go ahead and start drilling these holes. Uh, also using a file uh, that pretty much uh, clean up all the uh, the uh, mess that you drill out all the plastic part you can use a little file like this and it'll clean it all up for you guys That's how it looks like that. So we got our switch on, engages all the other switches, and then your LED will be on when that's on. So let's go ahead and continue doing these holes. I'm not gonna film that because uh, obviously you know what I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and do these holes. All right, guys. So I got all the holes um, drilled and my switches uh, installed already, as you can see. Um, this is how pretty much how it's gonna look. Now I couldn't fit the last um, one, which was the pretty much the future one. So I just went ahead and not install it um, for right now. Um, doesn't look like I have any space for it anyways. But uh, if I do need it, which like I said I don't need it right now, I'll probably find another location for it. And I think I know where I'm gonna install it if I do, uh, uh, you know, do need it in the future. But anyway, so this is how pretty much it looks. Um, as you can see on top, you got your green light LED indicator. When I turn on that little that little green light, will turn on the LED, which will activate the the bottom three. The top the top uh, uh, switch toggle switch is going to be for my KC daylighters. The front, uh, the second one is going to be for the uh, reverse lights, and then the last one, the red one, uh, the LED is going to be for the uh, uh, for my fan auxiliary fan. Okay. On the back here, as you can see, I pre start pre-wiring the wires or pre-wired the clips to them so I can just attach them to the wires I have already in my cab. Um, so there's pretty much how it looks. The wiring all hooked up already. The last one, I'm gonna do that right now in a bit. But like I said, it's pretty much easy. Um, these holes were easy to get in there. I had a, had a, had a sh let me get this, zoom in here a little bit. I had to shave a little bit there, cut a little piece there just to fit that last one in there. And then obviously the back one over here, as you can see, I, when I drilled through, I cut, I nicked off of it. I nicked it a little bit and I had to just pretty much silicone it. So it's no big deal, like I said, uh, real easy uh, connections and stuff to it. Um, so that's pretty much it with that. Uh, it's ready to be installed. So let's go ahead and get to that point. All right, guys. So I'm in here, in my cab. As you can see, uh, I already put, I already wired up all my switches. Uh, everything's ready to go. I just, all I need to do is just clean up this uh, this bird nest, 
and then just uh, tuck all the wires in there with, uh, with zip tie the wires and tape them all up and make sure that's all cleaned up here uh, I'll do that here in a bit make sure when you uh, do that just uh, make sure you test your your, your stuff um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pop the fuse back in and then test each switch and see if everything works now keep in mind it's real important to have a fuse in your line now if you don't have a fuse you're gonna you're gonna, you might cause a short and you might um, obviously cause a fire, burning your vehicle down. You obviously don't want that to happen. So make sure you have a fuse in the in the line somewhere. I have mine in my engine bay, which is a pretty quick access to it. So if I ever do pop one, I have the, uh, I, could, I could replace it real quick. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, install this and uh, show you guys how it looks. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, put my ashtray back on. Um, and I'll put my plate, my shifter plate back on with all switches to the right. Uh, the only thing I need to put on is going to be my, my, my shifter knob. And that's pretty much it. This install will be complete. Um, so let's go ahead and test it real quick. Uh, the on and off switch is going to activate all these switches here. LED indicator saying that's, gonna, that's what's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our daylighters here. Now it's day, out, it's day outside, so you're not going to be able to see the lights from up here. Um, but I did test them. They work pretty good. Uh, so now let's go ahead and test the reverse lights. Reverse lights are on. Everything's good to go. My auxiliary fan, which is not hooked up yet, um, is not gonna come on because the circuit's not complete. But it, when it is hooked up, you will be able to see the real light, the little red light come up. Again, let me go ahead and turn it off. Everything's off. If I'm actually messing with this and I actually hit a light, you see it's not gonna mess with anything up. Because you still have to turn the master light on, the master switch, I'm sorry. So everything's good to go on that part. It looks clean. It looks almost stock uh, to my to my, my Jeep here. And that's pretty much uh, completes the, mo the mod, the, the shifter plate switch mod. Um, that's pretty much, like I said, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and leave my video there. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below. Um, again, like I said, every, every Monday there's a new video. If you guys haven't... Uh, Subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. There'll be videos every Monday. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Later.